angle CD, measurement of angle B is this, and the measurement of angle C is that, and measurement of angle D is 2x plus 14. Find x and the measure of each angle. So based on this, I'm going to assume that it's going to be a triangle, and it's going to be isosceles triangle. Why? Because if you see here, it says BC, oops, let me erase this, it says BC and CD are equal. That means it's going to be isosceles triangle. And measurement of angle B, right here, it's going to be, let's change the color, 13x minus 35. Measurement of angle D, it's going to be 2x plus 14. Measurement of angle C, it's going to be 5x minus 19. Okay, now if you notice, since it's an isosceles triangle, these two, tri these two angles are going to be the same. Angle B is going to equal to angle D. Okay, so if that's true, that means we can replace angle B with, let me write it over here to on the right side. If angle B is equal to um, 3, 13x minus 35, so we can just simply replace that, 13x minus 35 equals angle D equals to 2x plus 14, so 2x plus 14. So then now we can simply solve this problem. So let's move the 2x to the other side, minus 2x on both sides. Since this is a positive, you can do, a, do the opposite, which is negative, so this cancels. We're left with 11x minus 35 equals 14. Let's move the 35 to the other side. Uh, 11x equals 49. I'm writing this from 49. x is going to be 49 divided by 11. Okay. Um, so x is going to be a fraction in this case. Now, since we found the x, all you have to do now, it's going to be on your on your own, okay? So you basically plug in the x into each of the equation. I will do one example with you. For example, if we do 5x minus 19, we want to find out what it is. So since x is 49 over, 19, uh, over, 49 over 11, we're simply going to replace that with 49 over 11. Um, oops, what's going on? Minus 19. 19 okay so you can use a calculator or however you choose you can definitely do it that way so for me I'm going to use a calculator so 49 uh, times 5 it's going to be 245 all over 11 minus 19 um, so I can convert the 19 to the fraction it's going to be 11 uh, let me do this 11 times 19 it's going to be 209, so it's going to be 209. 245 minus 209, let's see what that is. 245 minus 209, it's going to be 36. So it's going to be 36 all over 11. Now you can not simplify this any further. So this is going to be measurement of angle C. And that's your answer for angle C. For the angle D and angle B, you can definitely go ahead and solve it by using this method. I hope this helped. Uh, thanks for coming to my TED Talk.